Alright, so today I wanted to go over calcium supplements. The reason for that is that calcium is probably the most misused mineral out on the market. Um, calcium can be a double-edged sword. If not taken correctly, calcium is something that will be dangerous to your body. So in this video I wanted to go over some of the ways that you should be taking calcium if you must supplement with it. So now let's go over some of the benefits of taking a calcium supplement. As everyone is well aware, calcium is great for your bone health and for the strengthening of those bones. Uh, it applies the same way to your teeth. Uh, calcium has been used for weight loss, also for balancing hormones in women. Um, it's been shown to reduce the risk of colon cancer. And in uh, men that are resistance training, uh, it can show higher levels of free testosterone. So now let's go over some of the problems that can arise when taking calcium supplements. Cardiovascular disease is probably the big number one killer um, because people are at twice the risk for heart attacks on these calcium supplements. Uh, they can also cause other mineral deficiencies. Calcium shares the same receptors as magnesium and zinc and iron and then these things can start depleting when calcium that you're taking is pushing those out. And the synthetic calcium is just oxidizing in your body. It's not getting into your bones. It's in your bloodstream and uh, throughout your organs. This leads to an accelerated aging process and also can lead towards things like arthritis and other joint problems. So let's look at the ways that you should be taking your calcium. Now the best way is obviously food. Uh, calcium rich foods would include things like raw milk and leafy greens like broccoli, spinach, collard greens, kale, even seaweed. Uh, things like quinoa and chia seeds are also great sources. Uh, things that you'd want to avoid would be those singular calcium supplements like calcium carbonate, and calcium citrate. And then those fortified foods are the ones that trick a lot of people. Things like orange juice, cereals, soy milk, yogurt, uh, they're all just fortified with synthetic calcium. It's no different than calcium carbonate or the citrate. Not to mention all the sugar those foods contain. It's kind of deceptive as a lot of these are supposed to be health foods and uh, they're really nothing close to that. So here are a few tips to go by if you're going to supplement with calcium. I would suggest that you look for that whole food calcium supplement, maybe one of those formulas that has the other vitamins and minerals along with it. Um, if you want to take something that's uh, calcium by itself, calcium lactate is a good form, uh, but make sure that you're going to add magnesium to your regimen and it should be a one to one calcium magnesium ratio. See a lot of times some of these formulas do two to one calcium to magnesium. Uh, but they should be at the same level. Uh, and then your boron and your silica. And then for vitamins, um, everyone knows about vitamin D3 to absorb calcium. Uh, vitamin K2 is the one that actually brings calcium into your bones. So that's very important. And then it's also very important to never exceed 500 milligrams per dose of calcium. Uh, doing any more than that's not absorbing anyway, and it's just loading up more oxidized calcium throughout your body. So I just kind of want to touch on a mineral called strontium. This is something that's been a forgotten mineral in the bone building community. Um, it's something that is able to pull in all the essential minerals into the bones. Uh, back in 1959 the Mayo Clinic did a study with patients suffering from osteoporosis. And they were given 1.7 grams of strontium every day by the end of the study they found that the majority of these people had an increase in their bone mass and a relief from their bone pain. Now if you're going to take a strontium and a calcium supplement you should not take them at the same time. Uh, they need to be spaced out about two hours apart. Alright so I have to bring up resistance training. Um, lifting weights is not only for bodybuilders and for bros, I mean it's for everybody. Uh, you notice how much muscle you build when you lift weights, but you're also building stronger bones. Uh, your body needs to adapt to all this extra weight and exertion being placed on it. 
So it's going to start building itself up bigger and badder than before. Um, so don't take this lightly. I mean, go out just a couple times a week and uh, do some weights. Uh, if you need to, take some creatine. That's going to help with uh, muscle recovery and even the physical performance. Um, and creatine's also been shown to have benefits in bringing more minerals into the bones. So now it's time for the quality check. Nothing beats natural food sources of calcium. If you must go out and get a supplement, look for the whole food supplements. And also look for the organic and non-GMO seals. Never buy calcium by itself unless you're planning on buying all the other minerals and vitamins along with it. Uh, if you do it that way, be sure that you're getting those minerals in their best absorbable form. Get the chelated forms or get the orotate forms. Don't just settle for the cheapest thing out there like the oxides and the aspartates. Uh, consider buying strontium. And then don't forget the three pillars of health. Eat well, lift well, sleep well. This has been another edition of Supplemental Sense.